Hey, what's up, what's up, Capricorn? It's your girl, Tosh, for Unstoppable. Please like, subscribe, don't forget to comment, share my channel as well. This message will be for the Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cross watchers are welcome. If the reading does not resonate with you, please just watch our other signs. It's completely free to do so, okay? This is not a personal reading. This is a collective reading for Capricorn, okay? So I want to go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so Capricorn, when I woke up this morning, I was feeling very rejuvenated, really fresh, wanting to dance. I was feeling really, really pumped up this morning. Um, so I got out and I started shopping, started getting me some uh, things that I was uh, needing for the home. OK, so for some of you, you may be feeling very enthusiastic, wanting to chase your dreams and your desires, but feeling like you really accomplished something, something about a key is significant. You could have got a key to a new home, a new car. OK, also for some of you, you could uh, put a car in the shop or you have to or need to do some kind of maintenance when it comes to your vehicle as well. All right. Uh, there is someone definitely from the past who's watching you, who've got some kind of truth regarding you. They may see you moving on or see you uh, leveling up in life. This could also be uh, family, friends, associates, what have you. These people could be watching you and inspired by you, but jealous of you at the same time. But be careful with conflict when it comes to your family life as well. Also lovers as well. OK, there may be some kind of disagreement when it comes to your love life. Um your work life as well so be very careful of those things don't let people get in your way don't let people get you down but you may feel like you know you made some bad choices some poor choices in life but you're going to learn from those mistakes as well okay also you could be someone who's very intuitive very knowledgeable as well but you're going to be seeing the truth around people who are deceptive towards you there could be someone who's trying to change your destiny or stop you in your tracks trying to cause bad luck in your life as well but you're going to move forward you're going to see the truth and you're going to cut these people off okay something about nachos i don't know if you like nachos the mexican food or craving this as well for some of you okay <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get right into it let's see what's coming towards you at this time you might have moved from a uh, a family or a lover okay i'm also getting if you are married you might be trying to spice up the marriage or needing to do something different in the uh in your marriage life in the relationship when it comes to romance and things like that might be trying to figure out how to spice it up with your lover. Some of you could be moving in with um, your person if you're in a relationship. Okay, so we have a 401. So, yeah, happiness is definitely on the way. I feel like you're uh, planning something, trying to be more creative. Some of you are also decorating a home as well. Or you're, uh, you may be into decorations. That may be something that you do in your career. Uh, you may do um, wedding plannings as well. But there's someone who wants to come towards you and they want to build with you. But there's definitely going to be success when it comes to your life, okay? There's some kind of passage that you're going to be celebrating here at the end of the day. But you're going to be rewarding yourself for all your hard work and your efforts as well. Someone may be watching you at work, okay? This may you may be moving up leveling up in the workplace okay but uh, this is going to be a period of personal freedom and uh, new choices are definitely going to begin for you you're going to have some choices some options to make in life as well um, but you know realizing at the end of the day that money doesn't necessarily mean happiness either so it's like you know, you know, that's what you need to move forward in life and, you, and you're going to do what you need to do when it comes to that. But at the end of the day, you know that money is not about happiness. OK, also be very careful when it comes to spending your money as well. OK, um, don't have buyer's remorse by not checking your finances or paying attention to what you're spending make sure you know you uh paying attention to your savings as well we have the six of clubs there's someone who wants to come back and apologize to you with the four ones aries leo sagittarius six of clubs pisces cancer scorpio this could be someone from your childhood or someone that you've known someone that you broke it off with this person is having nostalgic memories about you okay they're really thinking about you this person feels like that you and them uh you know could be together or they want to come in, they want to be with you, they want to build with you. And for some of you, you're going to be moving in with this person, okay? Like I say, 
uh, this person um, is thinking about all the good times that they've had in this relationship with you. I feel like this is someone who's very comfortable around you. This is someone that, you know, you could really talk to. This is like a friend here, someone that you've known. Okay. So the six of cups is about the past. Okay. Nostalgic memories, childhood. Okay. Emotional relief and healing from grief of loss. Okay. So at the end of the day, I feel like, you know, whatever this is that, you know, you possibly could be thinking about. This is going to uh, make you feel a lot better. And for some of you, you're going to be with this person. Okay. Yeah, we have the six of wands. So there's the victory here. Your dreams are definitely going to come true. Okay. So <clears throat> you could be carefully planning um, those things that you want to achieve. But there's something about recognition as well. Some of you are going to be getting recognized publicly. But I do see a marriage here. Okay. Okay, uh, some of you could also be uh, having some kind of obstacles at this time or feeling like there's a lot of obstacles in your way or things that you need to achieve. Okay, I'm getting there's going to be a victory over the opposition at the end of the day. And those people who are trying to stop you uh, from moving forward in life, they're not going to be able to do anything. Okay, you're going to be able to move forward here. Okay. But you are someone who's a dreamer. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh. Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands. Okay, someone is very passionate about you that wants to move towards you. Okay, but at the same time, you're going to be very passionate about chasing your dreams, your wants and desires as well. This person is very, very um, emotional, I feel, over you in this situation. Okay, there's going to be the devil card. Yeah. So this person is, uh, they don't want to let you go. I feel like this is someone who's very nervous. They may be having like, um, they might be kind of in and out, but they might have like nervous problems as well. Uh, or they get very nervous around you, but I feel like this is someone, this is also your card Capricorn, but you know, this person is very greedy, very materialistic as well. This could be you as well. Okay. Not wanting to let go of this situation, someone from the past, but you know, like I say, be careful with spending and overindulging in those negative habits, negative mindsets. Uh, if you want, you know, if you smoke a lot, you know, things like that, this is a time for you to change that pattern up. OK, but there is some kind of dark secret or something that you're not seeing clearly, but someone wants to hold on to this situation. This person wants to come after you. They desire you. OK, but I feel like this is someone who's it's like they don't know what they want. They're always changing up, switching up a routine here. OK. This could be about sex, okay? They, they might feel like you have, you know, have very good sex. What else? Okay, yeah, this person is thinking about... So, yeah, this person could be watching you, but they want to come in with a message here, okay? You may feel like you're at a crossroads when it comes to this person. But I feel like they're thinking about moving towards you and they may, may be trying to figure out how to do this. But at the end of the day, they just really want to, um, you know, hang on to your energy. They want to stay stuck on you. But there's going to be some kind of conflict. But at the end of the day, this is going to be resolved. OK, but you're going to be clarifying your goals and those things that you want to achieve. OK, so some important news is definitely on the way. OK. It could be a Capricorn as well. Yeah, Ten of Cups just flew out here. Uh, it kind of like flipped all around. I don't know what it was trying to do. <laughs> Some of you, this person could be married, okay? But uh, this person wants to come in and build with you. You got the Four of Wands, the Six of Cups, and the Ten of Cups, okay? The Six of, the six of Wands here. Yeah, this person is... Um, they want to be with you, okay? They feel like you make them uh, happy, but at the end of the day, I feel like you're going to be getting a new home or purchasing a home as well. Forgiveness and reconciliation. So, yeah, this person wants to come in. They want you to forgive them. I feel like maybe this is you and their energy at the same time, okay? 
But for some of you, you could be having kids with this person or this person wants to have kids with you, okay? This is something. So, yeah, I feel like this is from the past. I feel like this is someone you already know, someone you're already friends with or talked to before, okay? Yeah, it's, it's heavy on the reconciliation and forgiveness here. Okay, they really want you to forgive them. They love you. They want to be with you. I feel like they don't want to let you go. Okay, uh, of course they don't because they definitely want to come in. They want to be with you. They want happiness with you. They want a family with you, a home. Some of you, they're going to be moving in as well, but we do have a magician card here and the fool. Yeah, this person is thinking about coming towards you, but you, this person is manifesting you. Okay, but you're someone who's an overachiever and a risk taker as well. Okay, you're taking risk out there, especially when it comes to your life. Some of you're taking risk on business as well, but be careful with that. Okay, but I'm getting at the end of the day, this is you know, your whatever it is that you want to take a leap towards. Okay, those things that you're manifesting and that you're trying to create in your life, you're going to be happy at the end of the day. Whatever it is that you want, you're going to be able to get it. OK, three of ones. OK, so definitely there's going to be a choice to make. OK. Some of you may have more than one choice to choose from, but at the end of the day, uh, you know, I feel like you're going to have many of choices that you can choose from and you're going to be able to make those choices without any hesitation here. OK. Any problems that arise, I feel like you'll be able to move out of this situation, okay? <clears throat> All right, not a source, okay? So this is about uh, planning, engineering, okay? Uh, this could be someone who's uh, military or someone who's just very disciplined, okay? Um, Aquarius, Pisces, uh, Gemini. Okay, but this person is probably going to enter your life. This is not someone who, um, you know, who's emotional. They kind of conceal their emotions, what they're thinking about coming towards you. Okay, this person is very confident, and I feel like they're confident and uh, they're very courageous. They have a really good heart here. This could be a twin flame or a soulmate. Okay, they see you as the Queen of Cups. Okay, they see you as someone who's very positive, very sympathetic, very kind and giving, loyal and practical, someone who's very honest, okay, and careful with your money. But this person could be like this as well, okay. Okay, Eight of Swords. Hmm. Okay, so there's someone who's who's passionate about you that wants to come in. You could be dealing with more than one option. I feel like this person sees you as the uh, the person for them, but at the end of the day, it's like you may feel you know very trapped, very closed off. Okay, not really wanting to deal with this situation. You may feel like you really want to spend some time to yourself, to nurture yourself, take care of yourself. Some of you just want to be left alone. You want to be in the home, okay, and not really do a whole much. You may feel it, may be feeling just very overwhelmed at this time regarding your choices and those moves that you need to make in life, okay? So, like I say, there could be more than one option that you need to choose from, okay? And maybe you're just doing some kind of reflection, okay? Who's the better option for you? We have a high priestess and deception card. So you may be feeling like there are people around you are very deceptive. You really don't trust them. So you may be just kind of going within to get seek answers, okay? Trying to get some kind of wisdom or gain some kind of clarity. But you do have the wisdom and the knowledge, okay? And you know what moves you need to make. But right now, you may be just in solitude or wanting to spend some time alone. Okay. If there is someone who's deceptive around you, this person could be trying to manifest you. They could be a high priestess. This person is deceptive. There's something around you, something you don't really know. You need to get more answers or more clarification on the, the issue at hand here. 
or if you do have an issue, but, uh, you know, you may feel like you're very stuck and you don't have a way out. But at the end of the day, with the Eight of Swords, you're able to get out of the situation, okay? You're not stuck. You just feel like you are mentally Okay, when it comes to this person, but this pro probably this high priestess is trying to keep you stuck in this relationship. Don't want to let you go. Okay. Yeah, the high priestess still came out. Okay. Uh, there's some kind of message coming towards you. Okay, this person could be younger than you, but this is someone who's very courageous, very uh, strong, okay, very uh, compassionate, very giving, and very enthusiastic. So when it comes to your life, you're going to be chasing your goals, your desires, and your dreams, but you may be very closed off, not really telling people your moves. With the Ten of Wands, you're really focusing on your life and your goals and your achievements. Four swords. So yeah, this person could be... You may be kind of feeling guarded, feeling very let down, but I feel like this is someone who took a break from you that's trying to come back towards you, okay? You might have, um, you may feel like you don't get enough rest and you need to. You may be working just really, really hard, okay? But you're trying to manifest and create your life at this time, you're feeling very courageous, very strong. But it's, so what it is is that you're going to put in that work OK, because you have dreams and desires that you want to attain. You're going to put in that work. OK, with the page of ones, strong convictions. And then we got the uh, ten of ones. So, you know, feeling like you're in a constant battle, but overextending yourself, overworking yourself to the point to where you're burnt out here. And you really need to get some rest. Like I say, you could be just wanting to stay home, not really get out much because you feel like you're just very overworked here. But there is someone that wants to come in and message you. This could be someone one that you walked away from moved away from that you were in a constant battle with and now you're doing some introspection and reflection regarding this situation this person may be feeling like there's options that you need to make or to choose from this person could be pressuring you as well to make a choice when it comes to them okay yeah bottoming out okay <clears throat> for some of you this was a uh, disruption in the home life or you had some kind of conflict with this person, but you may feel like, you know, uh, trouble is on the way or thinking this person is thinking like they're the victim. OK. But be careful with conflict when it comes to this person. For some of you, you might have moved away because you feel like this person was deceptive because they've caused enough uh, problems for you here. OK. <clears throat> But you're going to be giving back and taking control of your life as well, okay? For some of you, there is, could be some kind of disruption in the home, but you're going to be rebuilding, dismantling and rebuilding your life, and you're going to be able to give back and pour out. Um, it's like whatever you give, you give back, okay? So the karma is going to come towards you. Ugh. All right, so we have the Seven of Pentacles, yeah. So at the end of the day, you're going to be uh, rebuilding, regaining your life, but you may feel like you don't have enough finances. But like I say, be careful with the money that you spend, okay? Some of you are going to be getting an increase in sales as well, but there's going to be a major turning point in your finances here, all right? <clears throat> Be careful with uh, spending and investments, but there's somebody researching you or you could be trying to research on how to make more money or you could be looking for a new job as well. But you may be getting some kind of inheritance or some kind of profit uh, coming in from your business, but you may just be trying to, you know, uh, save your money, not really spend too much. OK, for some of you, there's going to be a new business, but there's going to be a good time for a new project coming in. So some of you are manifesting uh, a new business or a new goal. And then there's a lot of options that's going to be coming towards you. But you could be dealing with a Virgo as well. This person could be someone who has really good money that wants to come towards you and have a partnership with you. Um, but, you know, be careful with risky business ventures as well with the Seven of Cups. OK, there's going to be something about uh, structure and discipline. OK, so have more structure and discipline when it comes to your finances. OK, so uh, but making sure that you don't wish for something, but that you plan for for but don't wish and then uh you know try to go get it when you don't have the money here so 
there are more options around you than you recognize with the seven of cups. OK, some of you could be going back to church. You could be psychic or, you know, there may be some unexplainable events going on around you as well. But like I say, with the devil card, be careful with over indulging. If you smoke too weed or drink too much alcohol, OK, be very careful with that because you may be seeing things, hearing things. OK. <laughs> Okay, some of you could be work with computers, negotiations, software, detectives. <clears throat> some of you could work at night as well. What's the message for Capricorn? message for Capricorn please okay so we have magic okay so uh magic all right Everything in the universe is vibrating energy. Magic is manipulation of subtle energies to influence a specific result. We can tune into these energies with our intuition and with practice. Channel the energy for our use, okay? And we also have change, okay? Like walking through a doorway, death is simultaneously an end and a beginning. We are energy and energy doesn't disappear, it merely changes form. Likewise, the end one, the end of one situation is the start of another. Do not fear change as it is inevitable. Okay, so some of you may be fearing some kind of change or moving forward in life, or you may be feeling um, like you can't get away from the past, like you're stuck, okay? But you may, uh, you know, uh, be doing something different, something you've never done before, and then it may just feel kind of weird it may may have you off a little bit okay some of you could um be drug abuse counselors or you may be getting some kind of uh therapy or some kind of counseling when it comes to substance abuse okay or you could work in a medical field but wisdom all right uh, wisdom is a result of experience. Use this time to consult with someone that has the knowledge you seek. Listen with respect when giving advice, even if it doesn't resonate with you at this time. The advice may be beneficial later on. Okay, so the owl, so, you know, spiritual knowledge. Okay, seeker of truth. Okay, very intuitive, but someone could be watching you as well. Okay, this person, uh, your spirit animal may be the owl. Okay, um, but yeah, we did get the hermit card, so someone definitely could be watching you as well. Like I said, what is it that your person has to say to your person on your mind has to say to you? Okay. I feel like I ruined everything. One-sided relationship. I am so sorry. Okay. Yeah, this person feels bad for what they did. Now they want to come back. They feel like everything was one-sided. Maybe you or this person just only had, uh, it was like all about them. I'm intimidated by you. Yeah. So for some of you, I feel like this person heard something or uh, they're trying to get some kind of news or look you up, watch you, try and see what you're up to. Now they're intimidated by you because you walked away from this person. Okay. Some of you could be mentally stressed. Make sure, uh, you know, be careful with accidents. But we have keep believing as your dreams won't expire. Never, ever give up. Okay. And also, don't be afraid of the biggest unknown in your life. 
your potential. Okay. It's a gift you must unwrap each day. All right. Some of you might like the colors blue. Okay. Okay. But we have doves here. Okay. Four doves here. Okay. And I also saw birds today. I saw two birds. Uh, actually, there were seven. I don't know why I keep saying two. There were seven. So ascension, uh, but power, strength, protection. But um, four, which is uh, ancestors. Your ancestors are watching over you. They're guiding you. But self-expression, self-fulfillment as well. Okay. Love and support. Okay. Um, but I saw two birds in particular. There were seven, but two of them um, were together. One out of the two went down to the ground to get food or whatever he was doing down there. And the other bird flew onto like the windowsill to look down on the other bird to see what the other bird was doing or where they went, but kind of like uh, more so like watching out for the bird. I feel like, so, uh, yeah, when I see that, I feel like that's your ancestors watching over you, protecting you. You're, uh, you know, you're very well protected, but like I said, at the end of the day, somebody is watching you as well. Okay. Possibly a Virgo. Okay, Ace of Cups. So, yeah, uh huh. New Beginnings is on the way. All right. New Beginnings is on the way. Some of you are going to be having a new, a new life. Okay. But you may be feeling very fearful when it comes to this. Capricorn, please. What's the message for Capricorn? Okay. So we have broomstick clearance. Okay. So for some of you, you really need to get rid of that negative energy. Okay. Protect your, uh, your energy. Um, take a, a spiritual bath, but cleanse your home as well for some of you you're going to be moving it into a new home make sure you you know you're cleansing that negative energy that's in there okay but you're going to be clearing out those negative uh patterns and cycles as well for some of you you could be cleaning or you could be in the cleaning industry you may be uh like a maid or something like that all right some of you are going to be buying new stuff for your home okay But there are things around you, people around you, situations around you that you need to clear out. Ooh. Okay. Awakening. Okay. Okay. So this is a time of new growth a good time to purify your thoughts actions and diet this is a great time to see fresh ideas become in tune with your body's cycle dream big draw on your maiden aspect of the triple goddess wake up new desires are presenting themselves to you as you awaken to opportunities that were once unfamiliar to you these beckon you now to explore as you become more in tune with the magic and mystery of nature. As you become aware of this awakening, you will begin to notice synchronicities such as chance, meetings with like-minded people or animals that cross your path. The ancient mystic worked with the cycle of nature and recognized that when we operate in this way, we receive all that we need to survive abundantly. Everything that you are feeling in an entirely natural uh, is entirely natural. Your wishes and desires to powerfully evolve and to live as your authentic self have brought about these changes in you. Embolic open new doorways for you and with no longer serves you will fall away naturally. So whatever it is that's no longer serving you is going to fall away naturally. But this is an auspicious time for you are becoming truly alive and awakening the true witch within who now serves from a deep slumber. I mean, if you are whatever your witch or whatever you have taken have resonates 
Okay, incubation. Okay, so like right now, like I say, you're taking some time out to yourself to hear yourself really closed off to people, not really talking much to people. Okay, doing a lot of introspection and, and um, reflection on your life. But for some of you, you're having a baby as well. You could be pregnant or getting someone pregnant. Okay, uh, something about spring could be significant as well. All right. But you really need to get some rest or take some time out to yourself to heal yourself. Okay. <sighs> Confidence is your key to success. Okay. You can be dealing with the Leo. What else? Balance, spirituality, and practicality. What else? A new start is coming. Okay, so a new start is definitely on the horizon for you. Sorry about the light. Let's read this, and we're going to get ready to close this out. Where's my book? Mm, oh, well. Let's do the chakras. We're going to do a chakras and then we're going to close it out, okay? Awakening, okay? So this is definitely uh, your card, Awakening. It came out in the last cards that we dealt, but uh, Mental Clarity, okay? Inspiration, Awakening Truth. You could be having headaches, but uh, focus is Divine Knowledge and Inspiration, Awakening My Highest Truth, okay? This directs the breath to the heart, chest, and ribs, assists the immune system, and cultivates the stability, inspiration, and insight. Okay, you might like the colors green as well. Also, the number 26, which is eight. Okay, so um, power, strength, courage, wisdom. Okay, all right. Thank you so much, Capricorn, for coming in and visiting with me again. I'm Tosh. You ain't got to go home, but you got to get the hell up out of here. Okay, peace.